right, Nux. I got some sad news. Our friends Jet, Wave, and Storm all caught the flu. Tails, that, that's awful. Absolutely unfortunate. Don't worry, man. Don't worry. I got an idea. A tribute to our feathered friends. <laughs> I got a lot of puns. We're going to make some new merch with some sweet cars that'll make them look like the coolest kids in town. Yeah. Oh, man. Why, it's genius. But hey, hey, real talk, Tails. I'm uh, not feeling like doing the work. Oh, man, me too. We're on the same page. That's why we're going to have the slaves, I mean, ninja staff, do it. Hey. We should get musical sushi and Shun to do it. Already making the call, man. Let's go. Come on. All right, let's make the call. Hi, this is Sushi. I'm currently hanging out with Shun, so please leave a message after the beep. Hey, you. It's Tails. Listen, you got five minutes to come up with a shirt design. Otherwise, I'm going to have Big Nucks drop the hammer of justice on you. That's right. Don't mess with the Big Nuck. Holy moly, that was fast. Oh, yeah. Well, that design is amazing. I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we can't let musical sushi and schnun know. Oh, of course. Don't want the slaves getting ahead of themselves. Uh, ninja staff, big nucks. Same thing. Same thing. Listen up, Team 182. Here's your new Team Babylon shirt design. Courtesy of myself and big nucks. And schnun and musical sushi. Yeah, yeah. But more us. Be sure to check out the link below and grab yours today. Or tomorrow. Just grab one! This is like the most amazing shirt ever, I mean. Have you lost your mind? Sega has got some pretty sweet merch. Oh, what a day, man! I was in the kitchen making a sandwich! Go on, get out of here! Get out, get, get out of here! Get out of here! Welcome everyone to Ask the Sonic Heroes, episode 33! I'm your host, Amy Rose, and this is my handsome co-host, oh. Sonic the Hedgehog! Hello everybody! Sonic the Hedgehog here! And here are our guests, Team Dimension! Silver the Hedgehog here! This is Blaze the Cat! Hello everyone! Captain Marine here! Let's start with our normal questions! Silver, 1 through 30! How about number 14? From Mysterious Girl 92. Question for Silver. After Amy scolded you for trying to kill Sonic, an innocent hedgehog mistaken for the enemy, why didn't you ask Blaze about Sonic to see if he really was the enemy? Well, how was I supposed to know Blaze knew about the Iblis trigger? Uh, yeah, not once Blaze mentioned Sonic when we were hanging out, so. I, I didn't actually see what was in the emerald that Silver was shown by Mephilus. It's just. I heard that it was a blue hedgehog, and I knew that that could be Sonic, but we were immediately sent into the past and separated at that point. I didn't even have time to get it figured out with Silver. Would have been nice for you two to talk it out, so that way I would have been spared a few beatings. I am so sorry. Silver, you got a few good licks on me on that one. That one sucked. I'm so sorry. I'm just glad Silver was willing to stop when I jumped in the way. Yeah, it would have ended pretty... It would have ended pretty badly for a Sonic. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for the thanks for the answer there, guys. <laughs> uh, Blaze, this one's uh, your question. I choose number twenty-nine. Okay, so this is from Fourteen Foxy. Uh, let's see, Cali Star Spike, the super muscly Magikarp thing, and what is up, party people? Um, basically everybody's asking, what's that red gel on your forehead? Is it like fashion or is it like, uh, is it like part of your culture? Like, were you born with it? I wasn't born with it, um, but it is a, uh, it's something that manifests in the, uh, royal family here in the soul dimension. But when our, uh, fire powers begin to manifest, it, um, this, uh, red jewel appears. Do people in your soul dimension wear different colors depending on their power? Well, not everybody has a uh, power that goes along with it. Yeah, the royal family has the jewel thing just appear. But lots of people here have something they just wear as a cultural thing when they're big enough, you know? It's sort of a coming of age thing. Interesting. Huh. I've learned something today. Me too. <laughs> yeah? 
<laughs> All right, thank you, Blaze. Marine, one through 30. Number one. So from Sonic Baseball to Marine. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sounded like you just spat out your lemonade. <laughs> that was fresh squeezed. <laughs> to Marine. Marine, I know you from Sonic Rush Adventure. Are you adopted? Oh. Wow. If so, <laughs> where are your parents? Because I know Silver and Blaze raise you like a daughter. And I like it because you three make the perfect family. No hard feelings. I'm just curious because I imagine you asked Blaze, where, where are my parents? Silver and Blaze take good care of Marine, your daughter. Uh, um, this is awkward. Well, I kind of sort of maybe ran away from home for adventure. <laughs> Excuse oh me? I, I am so sorry. You ran away from home? Why'd you run away? Oh, you know, adventure, and they wouldn't let me go. So I went out looking for my big moment to prove myself to everybody. Do they, That's all. But they at least know you're safe, right? Oh, yes, <laughs> absolutely. Oh, okay. Obviously, I call home sometimes. That's what's important. I was like, yeah, I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna have to talk to the coconut crew because they're yeah, like, no kidding. <laughs> they were taking care of her like, long before she was with Silver and I. My so... parents have really been coming around to the whole thing. After seeing how much I've been helping Blaze and everyone. I think it's gonna be a okay. Oh my gosh. Well, uh, thanks, Marie, Good for heavens. your yeah, your truly eye-opening response. Wow. All right then. I guess it's time for us to move on to the group question now. Um, Silver. I'll do number thirty. All right. So this is from Katie Cat to everyone. Kiss, Mary, kill. Oh no. I'm glad I wasn't drinking lemonade for this no, question. Oh, gosh. oh uh, my god. Marine, you have to choose between Bokun, Charmy, and Tails. Blaze, you have to choose between Sonic, Shadow, and Silver. And Silver, you have to choose between Rouge, Amy, and Blaze. Love you all. Well, I you guess you choose you're... one of each. You, you <laughs> have to kiss one, marry another, and kill the last one. Marine, I think you should probably go first. Oh, thanks. <laughs> well, Sorry. I know who to kill, sadly, but um. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. One is more my speed and adventure. The other one can be a man and provide. In a marriage, I don't... Ugh. Fine! Kiss Charmy, marry Tails, and kill Bokun. Well, there! Oh, yes! Please, okay. you're up, dude. Come on. Well, I'm sorry. I think I'm going to have to kill Shadow. Um, Good answer. <laughs> I kind of saw this happening. Uh, I'll kiss Sonic and marry Silver. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Uh, well, except for the kissing Sonic thing, but the marry Silver! <laughs> Cause, you know, Sonic's mine. Make it on the cheek and we're solid. <laughs> okay, I think, uh... Oh no, I'm in this. Of course, I'll marry Blaze. Oh! Uh, um... When shipping dreams come true. Go away, Amy. <laughs> right, um... <clears throat> <sighs> I'm so sorry, Rouge. I gotta... I gotta kiss Amy. I'm sorry. And... <laughs> I get to and there's a reason w <laughs> Here's the reason why... Theoretically, I would kill Rouge is because... You never know what she's thinking, and she's always kind of sneaky. Oh, oh my! Oh my god! You literally could have left it at just "I'm sorry, Rouge," and then you were fine. Well, I had to explain why. <laughs> there's that. There's that. There's that dark streak you're going on, Silver. It's coming back. Please, oh, Rouge, man. do not hate me. I love you, and I. Uh, as a friend, that is. Please don't come over and assassinate me. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Why is this Great. episode so messed up so far? <laughs> okay, everyone, let's move on from that. Time for speed rounds. Let's go. Silver, one through five. Uh, two. From Sonic Adventures and Gaming to Silver, what was it like being in the Sonic Generations boss battle? It was good to be back. And it was also cool to see me in my full potential to crush Sonic. Wow! Oh, right, okay. Blaze! <laughs> one to five! Five! To, all right, this one's from Mackenzie Patton. To Blaze, do you consider yourself to be overpowered? I wish I was overpowered. You have no idea how many times Dr. Eggman Nega gets up to something. And for the longest time, it was only me. I was all by myself, having to put up with that guy's shenanigans. I had to train to be really strong all by myself, and thank goodness for Silver and Marine now. 
I got really tired of being alone. It's a lot more fun in a group! Sure is. That's the superpower of teamwork. Marine 1 through 5. Four! From Walter Lawrence to Marine, if you were to have your own crew, who among the Sonic cast would you recruit? You can have up to five choices. Obviously, Silvermate and Blazy. Yes. Sonic's great for adventures. Yeah, and, well, Cream wouldn't be that into the adventures, so, um, Charlie and Tails. Well, you're hard. All right, Bob, the uh, group question now. Marine, you get to pick this one. One through five. Number two. This one's from Life Gamer Death. To everyone, if you had to go to a fancy ball, who would you bring? Yes, you can't choose anyone on your team. Well, if Espio wouldn't mind coming with me... Well, that's a good thought. <laughs> yeah, it is. He'd be well-behaved right. at the ball. Uh, Sonic's not going to behave himself there. <laughs> I think I mean, Cream would love to go to one of those fancy schmancy balls. Oh, you're right. She would have a good She'd time. She'd be so happy. I'll bring Mighty. Mighty can come with me. Oh, yeah, Mighty. Actually, that's a good he's idea. Ve he's very helpful. He's very well-behaved. He has a lot of interesting conversation. That sounds like a great idea. I'll bring Mighty. And now for the second part of the speed round. Sonic, one through five. Oh, wow, Sonic. Wow. <laughs> Silver. Amy, that is Amy. the oh, second time wow. you've done that. Wow. Oh no. I saw my brain a lot. <laughs> okay. Go, 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 go. <laughs> so I'll, I'll go with number three then. From Billy Silver to Silver, bruh. I don't know. How's it going? Actually, forget that. Why are hot dogs sold in packs of six, but buns are sold what? in packs of eight? Animaniacs um. reference. <laughs> That's such a good question. It though. is a good question. Um. I think it's just a way to like have you buy more hot dogs so that way you can meet the right uh, quantities of buns. Commercialism! Exactly. Blaze, one through five. One. All right, this one's from Zani XP. To Blaze, are you scared of cucumbers? How do you react when you're surprised slash scared? I'm not wow. scared of cucumbers. <laughs> Who in the world is scared of cucumbers? Uh, Blaze, look behind you. <laughs> Silver, where, where did you even get that? Give me that cucumber. Where did you get that? I'm sorry, Blaze. I still love you. <laughs> Amy, he doesn't mean it like that. <laughs> so, one through five, Marine. Five! So, from Phantom of Your Imagination to Marine, how does your your cootie stick work? Have you ever seen Bob Ross the painter guy? And the way he likes to slap wow. the around? <laughs> That's what I do with a cootie stick. It beats the cooties out of people. Um, it's another group question. Okay, four. Dashy the YTP Productions. To the team, what's your favorite Disney ride at any Disney park? Pirates of the Caribbean, of course. I think I'm gonna have to say, uh, the Disco Yeti. Oh, <laughs> Expedition Everest, huh? Yeah, that one. That one's really cool. It's also really scary. I'd have to say King Arthur's Carousel. There was something about that that really spoke to me. Paging Sir Percival? Uh, Paging and Sir with Percival. that, the speed round is over. Yay! Good job, everyone. Um, and back to normal questions. Number 24. Let's do that one. From John Fogg to Silver, why did you let Infinite beat you up in forces? I did not let him beat me up. I tried <laughs> fighting him, but he was just too strong for me. I mean, you still put up a good fight, Silver. And on top of that, we none of us were really used to fighting anyone who was using the Phantom Ruby anyway. Exactly. Yeah. So we didn't it's... know what the heck was going on with that. Yeah, also, I did have a responsibility being the lead soldier of the Resistance. I didn't exactly know if I could, if I was capable of beating Infinite, but I was willing to try. Yeah, and I did. You, you did, and you put up a good fight. I mean, you were pretty, as far as I was told, you were the only person that, that had, like, a really good chance of being able to fight him. It was a desperate time. But we all did our best, and we pulled through. We sure mm -hmm. did. All right, Blaze, it's time for your last question. One through thirty. Nine. From Chessa B. To Blaze, can you clarify? Are you from the future or another dimension? Because 06's plot really confused me. If you are from another dimension, how did you meet Silver? Oh boy, that is quite a question. Uh, the quick answer is both. Uh, the I am the alternate dimension Blaze and the future Blaze. Sonic Rush and Sonic Rush Adventure both happened first. I am the princess of the soul dimension and I always have been. Mm -hmm. uh, the Chaos Emeralds called me back to Sonic's dimension really unexpectedly. 
And uh, what actually happened was that at first I was mistaken by the resistance forces there as being an agent of Iblis because of my fire powers. And so oh. it was a little rough at first, um, but Silver's the one who stopped them from arresting me. And we, were, we just became friends after that. And I sort of followed along with the situation so I could uh, take some time to figure out what was going on. And boy, oh my gosh, it gets so confusing because after that, the thing with uh, with Iblis happened and then the never-ending story the went down. Eater. Oh my goodness. that's That made it worse. Half the time, even we don't understand what's going on. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. I'd imagine even with the whiteboard, it'd still be confusing. I'll, someday, Definitely. I'll share with you the whole story. But that's, that's, the, that's the quick answer. Marine, 1 through 30. 21! What? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. You might actually like this. From Quality Guy. Hey, Marine, I dare you to pie shadow. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, please, I would love to see that. <laughs> that oh, sounds man, dangerous. So funny. <laughs> that sounds really fun. I haven't talked to Shadow much, but, uh, you only live once. All right, let me, uh. Oh, gosh. He's gonna be so mad. <laughs> right here. Hi, Hi, Shadow. shadow. Why are you all looking at me that way? I love you, Shadow! Close your eyes! He's <laughs> <laughs> oh, going to be so mad! Oh, look at his face! <laughs> oh, look at his face! <laughs> way, this was totally a question! They told me to do it, but I sort of had fun doing it. Sorry! Uh, why? Why? I was having a perfectly good day! This! This! Wait, uh. this... is this banana cream? <laughs> of course! It's the best greeting pie, you know! Well, you know, I was about to just completely obliterate you. Um. But you have great taste in pie, so I'll give you a five-second head start. <laughs> Alrighty then! Pirate okay, taste then, pie! Guess... <laughs> oh, wow. right, I guess okay. it's... Anyways, Sonic, I think you're asking the last uh -huh. one. <laughs> Seventeen. To everyone from Rock Prophecy. Uh, where did you go in Sonic Forces? Um, I know Silver was fighting Infinite the Giant Chinchilla, but what about you two? <laughs> the Giant Chinchilla? He, doesn't he look like a wow. chinchilla though? He totally does. That sounds about right. There was so much danger in Sonic's dimension, and uh, our two dimensions are so closely connected that we were able to take civilians over into the Soul Dimension to keep them safe. Marine. Along with Cream and some of our other friends were helping to usher in the small animals in particular. <sighs> Lots of flickies! It was like... Well, it was quite the adventure! Some of them were a little too scared and they ran away instead. So it's like you're trying to save them, but they're running from you? It was lots of screaming and traps and a huge net! Like, we had to organize things over here to keep everybody safe, but at the same time, if anything went wrong over there and bled into the soul dimension, I had a responsibility to my dimension to protect this place, too. I'm glad you took the role you did, because we needed that role. On that note, I should run for my life, for my new pie friend. <laughs> There's nowhere you can run that I won't pie. Marine signing off! Remember the look for my body! What? Oh my goodness! Okay, uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go uh, help out here. Shadow, you throw those pies uh, gently. Oh boy. Gently. This is Silver the Hedgehog signing out. Guys, wait for me. Ah. Uh, uh, this is Sonic the Hedgehog signing off. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Take <laughs> Man. care. Come, wait up, guys! I gotta film this. Wait for me. Chaos. Ah.